If you're one of the estimated 71 million American pet owners, you're probably wondering how you can tighten the leash on pet care costs for your four-legged friends. It's estimated that in 2008 alone, pet lovers spent over $43 billion on their furry friends. Joining us today is Tom Gunderson, professional animal trainer and groomer for the feature film Hotel for Dogs. Thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. No problem. So how much money can we really save by grooming at home? You know, the average American spends about 40 to $65 a month per dog on professional grooming services. And you can actually save more than $700 a year by grooming the, your pet at home. And uh, what I did is uh, a couple years ago, I, I spent about 30 bucks and I got a very simple grooming kit, uh, including four essential grooming tools and uh, one very handy cleaning tool, the new Swiffer Sweeper. Um, because I always have pet hair going everywhere, I always have a big mess to clean up, and it's great for reaching into uh, some of those hard to reach places under the couch and the tables and whatnot. That is very difficult. So can you share some simple grooming tips that we can all do from home? Uh, first and foremost, I like to make my dogs comfortable. I'll train them to lie on their side and I'll put them on a nice comfortable dog bed and I'll even get down on the floor with them and try to make the experience really positive. The second thing I do is give them a full thorough brushing and nail trim. Third, take them into the bathroom, give them a nice warm bath. After I've dried them off, I'll um, clean out their ears. Very important to clean out their ears. You never know if you get water inside there. And fourth, the final thing I do is give them a quick brushing just to make sure I got all the tangles out. And I'm sure they love that. So are there things we can do to put comfort first for our animals, like what tools to use for this? Well, the tools that I use for grooming are a handy little comb called a rake, and then I have a paddle brush, a pair of blunt nose scissors, and some nail clippers. So you work behind the scenes on the movie Hotel for Dogs. Can you tell us about that and how Hollywood keeps their animals happy on the set? There's a lot of work involved in getting these dogs looking like a million bucks before they go in front of the camera. And another thing you might not know is that just like in Hotel for Dogs, there are lots of times when we have to have multiple dogs playing the same role. And for that challenge, we have to rely on um, makeup and grooming to make them look identical. I'm sure that was not easy. So can you share some advice with people who want to own a pet but don't know exactly what kind of pet is best for their living space? There are three things that I always tell people to consider when they're going to choose a pet to live with them. Uh, number one is the commitment it's going to take to care for that animal, the cleaning, feeding, grooming, exercising, and just spending quality time with the pet. And number two um, is the size and location of your home. I mean, you're probably not going to want a St. Bernard living with you if you have a small apartment in a big city, for example. Um, the third thing, you really have to take into consider the dynamics of the family. Who's living there? You're not going to want a hyperactive dog that's nipping the kids and, uh, and chasing them around the house and tripping your grandpa. Great advice. So as you know, this show is called The Balancing Act. How do you personally balance your life between home, work, family, health, lifestyle, and financial matters? You know, that's a great question. The, the fortunate thing about what I do for a living as an animal trainer is I get to take my animals with me wherever I go. I can take them to work. Uh, I have two little kids at home that love the animals, and they are now old enough to start helping out in taking care of them. So a little bit of the burden is taken off my shoulders. That is great. So is there anywhere our viewers can go for more great tips and information? Absolutely. I recommend that they log on to Swiffer.com. Thank you so much for all this great advice. Hey, you're very welcome, and thank you so much for having me.